Hello to Webs and his eye, Hewlett here in magnificent Montreal, one of my favorite cities on the planet. Behind me is the uh, is the is the theater where we're watching all these amazing uh, Fantasia Film Festival films. You can see the banner across the street there, and one of my favorite statues right there. This thing is incredible. It is like. Uh, a triffid from like a John Wyndham uh, book or something, but it is all metal and it, it, it moves with the wind and it is just, oh, it's just a perfect example of how amazingly cool Montreal is. Uh, I just love this city. We have seen some amazing films while we're here. I'm going to give you just a few to consider. Uh, one of them is called Polaris, which is like Mad Max in the Arctic, filmed by this amazing filmmaker, uh, female filmmaker, entirely female cast, extraordinary, extraordinary film. Um, and uh, a couple other ones that we've seen, I think our ultimate favorite so far has either been um, Baby Assassins, which is about two bored teenagers who are also, as it turns out, assassins. Uh, there was a great one last night called The Roundup, amazing Korean action film. And uh, there is also a film called Coupe, which is this incredible remake uh, of a zombie film by uh, this fabulous French director. It is freaking hilarious. Gotta love it. And Baz, Baz was so taken with a film the other day, this film, um, Girl from the Other Side, that he went and got and got them to sign a poster. So this Girl from the Other Side, beautiful artwork. And Baz was just enthralled. It was just lovely to see the kid actually, um, you know, just really get, you know, excited about a film. It was just, you know, as a, you know, it was a guy in the film industry. I just thought that was kind of cool. Of course, the upshot of all this is that I am not going to be able to do my Tuesday Tech Bandits or my Wednesday uh, Magic Mayhem, I'm afraid, because I will be here watching crazy films in that theater. Um, hope to see you again next week. Um, in the meantime, I thought I would leave you with a few science inspirations. First up is the Mega Microsoft. Uh, they have a drone training simulator now, which is just this kind of a brilliant idea. Instead of having these drones flying around bashing into people and buildings and, and, and uh, destroying technology and, and, and property, they use uh, simulations to train the drones. Because of course you can, you can train them millions and millions of times um, in different uh, situations and have them, have them learn how to do things like um, uh, you know, do do fixes on the tops of buildings, or 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 solar panels, or 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 wind turbines, or you know any of the stuff that they're being trained to do. It can be trained in simulations and save you a ton of time and a ton of uh, of headaches, basically. So um, I thought you'd want to check that out. This is kind of a trend that's happening right now. There's a lot of this idea of simulating things to uh, uh, to help with the technology, the creation of technology. So you're seeing things like. Uh, you know, organs on a chip where they grow cells on a chip uh, and, and then can use those to experiment on with things like the medications or, or see how viruses or bacteria work. It just, it just, I mean, the whole idea of, of instead of having to wait for the body to do this stuff, you can actually have this stuff on a, on a chip. So that's very, very cool. Um, the whole sort of simulation thing. Eventually we'll be so good at simulating, we won't have to do things in the real world. So there you go. Uh, if you ask Elon Musk, we're already doing it. Another thing I wanted you to have a look at were these new electric muscles, these electronic muscles. And apparently they are even stronger than human muscles. There's a little, these are tiny, tiny little examples, but you gotta see what they're, what they're doing because they're very, very cute. Um, but the potential for them is just extraordinary. So, you know, I get, you know, personally, it's not hard to be, to be stronger than my muscles, but the idea that I could have electronic muscles, I just is a very, very cool thing, um, which I think you should have a look at. And finally, who was it who, who was talking about it? Uh, uh, like Potter Hobbit or something? Well, I can't remember who exactly it was. Someone on our stream was asking a little while ago about the idea of a side table that could help them out because they suffer from some disabilities. I found this online called The Retriever, which I love. It doesn't exactly do what we were talking about, but I thought it was a great example of how a very simple idea could be used to create this, uh, basically it's a it's a it's a it's a little shelf that follows you around i just thought it was really really cool so um check that out for sure uh so a few digital technological inspirations for you i will throw one gaming thing at you talk about this game called stray a little while ago on one of our streams well the internet has gone crazy with it the reviews are out they're calling it a meowster piece 
it is apparently this absolutely amazing game that everyone is going to be playing uh, where you get to play as a post-apocalyptic cat and you basically live life as a post-apocalyptic cat those are your adventures it looks gorgeous they're saying it's brilliant so um you know there you go look tech bandits we're ahead of the curve on that stuff but you may want to go check that out before you know everyone's doing it all right till we geek again i will say be safe be kind be brilliant uh, cheerio and huzzah and uh ah montreal mm -hmm.